clock 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 Welcome to Goosebumps number 53, Chicken Chicken. It's a finger licking nightmare. Don't call them chicken legs. Everyone in Goshen Falls knows Goulish. about weird Vanessa. Goulish. She dresses all in black, wears Hold black. On, no, we, we're, not, we're not over the Goshen Falls. Goshen Falls. Go 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 I couldn't help but read it in the goofy voice. Gorsh. Everyone in Goshen Falls knows about weird Vanessa. She dresses all in black, wears black lipsticks, and puts spells on people. At least. Did he say, did he say black lipsticks? Plural? He did. I was. I just wanted oh, to bring up how many just, lipsticks. No, I, she, I said it. She puts on lipsticks. multiple shades of black. And she puts spells on people. At least, that's what they say. Crystal and her brother Cole know you can't believe everything you hear. But that was before they made Vanessa mad. Before she whispered that strange warning. Not a warning, BT dubs. Chicken, chicken. chicken. <laughs> you gotta do the tongue with it. That's not true at all. Chicha, chicha, chicha. What is that? Is that a chicken? Oh, this is priceless. Go, 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 Something really weird has happened. Crystal's lips have turned as hard as a bird's beak, and Cole has started growing ugly white feathers all over his body. That is the weirdest puberty ever. <laughs> Reader beware, you're in for a scare. Great ghouls! Goosebumps on Saturday mornings on Fox Kids TV. All right. All right. Give me the book. <laughs> Put the book back. Give me the book. Don't give it. You've already hit it three times. I hit it like... One and a half times, because I didn't I have good Hey, in. he's hit it once, twice, three times the goosebumps. Oh my <laughs> lord. Come on, baby, don't feel the well, before we dive into this book, this wonderful, wonderful book, why don't we check in with Amy to see what we're drinking today. Amy? Max? Hey guys, it's been a minute. Today we're making a classic whiskey sour. You know I love the chicken cock. Simple syrup, lemon, and of course, the egg. You just want the egg white on this, guys, not the yolk. Hella shake it. Cheers, guys. Little eggy. All right, that looks like semen that has been out for maybe an hour. Shaking semen. Chicken, chicken. Ah, fuck you guys. <sighs> I don't get egg whites and drinks. Well, before we dive into this, can we talk about how this is probably the worst cover of any Goosebumps book? I mean, it is terrifying. I don't understand why she's got like what without, I'm going to call the tribal war paint. Without on her hitting face. it, let me see. Like, why I does she? Fucker. Why does she have like tribal war paint on her, her eyes? I don't know if that's just supposed to be the shadowing or it's what. It's red though. Well, it's part of her waddle. No, the waddle's it? down here. Uh, thwaddle? Head, head mohawk? We'll call it the mohawk. <laughs> the chicken mohawk. But why would it come and wrap around her eyes? Chickens don't look like that. Meet Crystal, who, along with her brother, lives on a farm because her parents left the city, wanted to they get out. They left the Bronx. Wanted to get out of the Bronx and wanted to have a farm and their dream was to have chickens. The, but are still computer programmers. As yes. soon as they said- I'm sorry, you could not remote, remote in 96. This this actually takes place in COVID. They're time travelers. Oh. So what they did was they went back in time, bought land while it was cheap. So R.L. Stein's an expert on things that haven't happened yet. Facts. And Crystal and her brother have to take care of these chickens and they hate it. They want to get rid of the chickens all the time. Yeah. So there's this creepy lady who lives on the edge of town. Her name's Vanessa. She wears all black, black lipstick. Has a cat. Has a cat, because everyone thinks she's- Because she's a witch, basically. No, not a witch. They say sorceress. 
which I thought was a really dumb distinction. They're like, everyone knows she's a sorceress. I'm like, why wouldn't you just say witch? They're like, we've used the word witch too many times. Have there been any goosebumps about witches? I don't really think so. That's a, that is kind of a bizarre, well, none of these are fucking scary, so. Oh, it took them 50 books to get to a fucking vampire. That's, so, a, that's a good point. That's a very good point. You know? So one of the favorite pastimes of the kids of this town is to play pranks on Vanessa. And so one day, um, Crystal and Cole meet up with a couple of their friends and they, they bump into their friends and, and two, two of these other kids are about to take a pitcher full of water and dump it in her mailbox as a prank. I don't understand, so it took me a minute and I'm like, well, maybe it's the one that's like on the side of the house where it has the open, like you open from the top and put it in. No, they described the mailbox as you pulled it down. And I'm like, where are you putting fucking water? <laughs> I thought the same thing. First I thought a mailbox on a post. I'm like, are they opening it and just throwing the water that's, in? That's what I was, I was like, I was thinking, it's like, are they just gonna like try to pour it through the top so that the joke is when she <laughs> opens it, which is gonna probably be the mailman next. So it's really gonna be a joke on that poor mailman. Who's like, I hate the fucking rural route. Did anyone else Perfect. think when they're like, oh, they got pictures. Oh, is that lemonade? I was like, oh, is there going to be urine in there? Are they putting urine in the mailbox? No, nope. clear not lemonade. That. So Crystal and Cole and their friend Anthony are hiding behind the hedges, and they're watching these two other kids about to dump water in the mailbox. And then the door opens, and Vanessa walks out. Ah! And the two kids freak out. They drop their water pitchers, and they run off. Yet somehow, Vanessa never saw the two kids right next to her door. She only saw... Crystal, the ones standing around in the bushes. Crystal, Cole, and Anthony, and she glares at them, and they run away. We basically go, like, 50 pages of... Nothing. Of, of, of like, oh, man, that's when it... Ri there were a bunch... There were, like, three instances of, and little did I know the trouble was about to happen. That's one of the rules. Yeah, starting from right from the get-go, when uh, they run away from Vanessa yeah. after the water pitcher incident... It turned into, wow, we got away. Little did I know I'd bump into Vanessa again sooner than I thought. Little did I know that the hard part was only about to begin. That the I mean, hard part was in my pants. To that rule. I can taste the egg. I can taste the chicken cock. <laughs> So fast forward a couple days, Crystal is going down into town to basically buy a present for her friend who's having her 13th birthday party. She's going in to buy a CD. And she's with Cole and Anthony again. And Cole and Anthony are playing this dumb game where apparently they walk around with an egg and they start tossing it back and forth at each other and getting farther apart to see how far they can go um, before one of them drops the egg. So they're tossing this egg back and forth and then Cole lobs it up like extra high and it ends up hitting Anthony in in the head and getting egg all over him, which is like... He had egg on his face. <laughs> and Anthony's all like, what the fuck, man? And it's like... You've been doing this! You're throwing an egg back and forth. What do you think is going to happen? Oh, it, it got away from me. Yeah. So Anthony gets mad and he charges his eggy head and like rams coal in the chest and, and they're they're wrestling. And right as they're wrestling, Vanessa walks out of the local general store and they knock into her, spilling her groceries. She's got eggs smattered on the ground, bottles broken, groceries skewed. And Anthony stands up, looks at her, I'm so sorry, and just fucking he runs. runs. He runs away, leaving uh, Crystal and Cole standing there with a, like a shell-shocked Vanessa and a haul, all of her spilled groceries. And, uh, and they, they like look at her and- uh, Just bolt. They bolt, yeah. And she's like, Chicken. Yeah. Chicken. As they're about to bolt, yeah, she looks at him dead in the eye. Chicken. 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 Um, in a very Thinner-esque way. This is this entire book, by the way, is just a ripoff of Thinner, which I think R.L. Stein has, has copped to. He said he just made this a Thinner for children. Did he? Yeah, he's like, let's take Thinner and make it suck. Sir? Thinner. The next day at school is choir practice, and they're singing a song, and Cole just starts clucking when it's his turn. Cole, Cole has a solo and just goes blah blah blah. How, how do, what does the chicken say? Ned, here's a random shot for you. Here's one for you. Bob, go fuck yourself. 
Eh. No. <laughs> I'm starting to grow feathers. Yeah, he says, oh, I've got feathers. Help me get these off. And Pluck them. Crystal, th Crystal thinks that he's pranking her again and actually realizes these he's feathers are growing feathers. out of him. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, fast forward to her friend's birthday party. So she goes to her friend's birthday party and all of a sudden her, her lips, lips start getting hard. She starts clicking, making clicking noises and her lips are hard and she rushes to the bathroom to get chapstick and she's like, oh my God, I'm growing a beak. That's herpes. But well, it would be, except she also started growing feathers. Chicken yep. herpes. Oh, chicken, chicken herpes. herpes. Right, no. right. Yeah. I have. I have. I have. Genital herpes. We have she to put do... a spell on us. Let's go to. Let's go break into her house. No. 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 So they're turning into chickens. They're obviously wondering because Anthony was with them when they knocked the groceries out of her hands. Is the is same. He... Is the same thing happening? Yeah. So they go over to his house. He's just playing golf in the yard, and they're like, "Have you noticed anything different lately?" Yeah, I have. You have, and they assume immediately that he's turning into a chicken. And then he's like, I've gotten really good at putting lately. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. After, after the birthday party, um, her pa their parents are going to have a barbecue. Because, well, they have chickens, so there's plenty of food to go around. Mm -hmm. Honestly thought this was going to go in a direction of, oh, it's not really Vanessa, but like their parents... <laughs> Mm. raise children and turn them into chickens. I li I thought that was going to be like the twist in the story. Your mistake was thinking we were reading a clever book. You're so right. I have I, a well, different but... twist that I thought of. I'm going down a Hansel and Gretel route. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, fair. See, but yeah, they were being turned into chickens to be eaten. Yes. That was where my mind went and I figured, "Oh, all these other chickens are the other kids, mm. mom and dad." had so they could eat chickens they just keep Mom's having just fucking kids. laying eggs so after lucy ann's party uh, you know crystal's growing a beak they're uh, both her and cole are growing feathers they're like okay we got to talk to mom and dad so cue up mom and dad are about to have a barbecue and, There's no time to talk to him now. Oh, yeah. Crystal and Cole are like, Mom, we really need to talk to you. And, and their mom's like, okay, no she time just for jokes. She ignores She's them. like, no, Mom's got tunnel vision, not looking at her kids. So very important. They're like, They're this barbecue has to go well. Or else we're, they're not going to buy our chickens. Yeah. No, I don't have time to listen to, like, my fucking children. She just ignores the fuck out of them. Yeah. Like, and they, they clearly have feathers right there. She, Crystal has a beak. And, like, mom's just not looking mom at said, her Mom said, your herpes are really acting up. Yeah. Living with genital herpes can be a hassle. Whenever I had an outbreak, it felt like it took days out of my life. Genital herpes. The guests start arriving to mom and dad's barbecue, and all of a sudden, mom freaks out. She looks out the window, and Cole, <laughs> who is supposed to be rounding up the chickens and moving them away, is pecking at the ground, pecking seeds up. And then she's she, mom's yelling. She's like, "Crystal, go stop your brother." And Crystal goes out there and starts she, checking. She she's like, "Oh, that looks good. That looks really good." And uh, yeah, all the guests are mortified. They think it's some kind of weird joke. And and yet, uh, and mom then is, it's just the end of the and scene. Th that's the end of the scene. And and still they haven't talked to mom and dad. And no. they're like, "Well, you all would right. figure they'd be grounded. Like yeah. you would think that's like Cole and I had to sneak out because we got grounded for the joke we played." No, right? No, they decide they finally have to do something. They figure reverse we're gonna the spell. we're gonna go apologize to Vanessa. She can reverse the spell. We'll go back to normal. Enough's enough. Uh, they knock on the door. Not no, home. No answer. They're I like, well, this. fuck it. We'll be any of this bitch. Yeah, because they look in the window and they see a bunch of what, like what look to be magic books. They're like, well, maybe right. we can find a spell to reverse this. Right. So they find a book called Chicken, Chicken, Chicken. They're like, this has to be it. So they take it. They go home. They open it up. It's a cookbook about cooking chicken. And they fucking retrace their steps in the ultimate fucking padding. They go back in, break in again, look through the books again. Did not return the cookbook, by the way. They just stole that. Yeah, that's that's yeah. theirs now. So they, they get back in there. They, Crystal goes, oh, I think this must be it. 
and they flip through it and they find some spell. She's like, yeah, this is it. Uh, here's turning... Uh, uh, Humans into chickens. Yes. But there's no reversal spell. So we'll do it backwards. We're just going to do it backwards. So they do it backwards, and all of a sudden they start... Here's where it got stupid, because all they could say is the, I'm sorry, here's where it got stupid? No, the whole rest of it was brilliant. <laughs> here's... Touche. So they try to do the spells. The first attempt, they grow into a giant chicken. Makes, makes them huge. And then so they manage to reverse that spell, and suddenly they're teeny. And then Vanessa walks in their house. She's like, oh, look. It's it, Crystal and Cole, the children who have no manners. And she's like, you know, you know what I value above everything else is good manners. And you don't have good manners. Uh, you bumped into me and you didn't apologize. And Crystal realizes, oh, that's why nothing happened to Anthony. Because he said, sorry. He said, I'm sorry, you. as he ran away. And they just left her there with all the spilled groceries. So... Luckily, there is an old-fashioned typewriter on the desk, and Crystal starts jumping on letters, pecking as, out as a, a little note. chick. Crystal types out, manages to type out. Please turn us back. We are uh, sorry. We, we, are we sorry. came, we to, came apologize. to apologize. Yeah. And Vanessa oh. says, "It's too late. Sorry. Thank you for the apology, but it's too, it's late. too late." Crystal's like, "Oh." Well, thank you for giving us that lesson in manners. Thank you for we trying. We really appreciate it. Blah blah. And Vanessa just melts her her little heart of she's like of I've never sorcery. gotten a thank you note before. Yeah, especially, yeah, especially yeah. She was about a, she's about a thank you mm -hmm. note, and she's like, "All right, I'll turn you back into humans." Pop t turns uh, Crystal and Cole back into humans. Let me get you some cola. Oh, they're having a great old laugh. Sh transforming from chickens and back is makes you really thirsty. thirsty. Yeah, she's like, I know this <laughs> thing. Yeah, you know Vanessa probably has fucking RC cola. You, oh, it's totally it's, it's fucking like big K store brand. Yeah. Safeway Select. It's she, not she's real. She's not springing for Coke. Coke. Or Scholastic Pepsi. couldn't get Pepsi or Coke to sponsor the book, so they, they just I know of cola. all the other fucking trademarks they get. Coca-Cola is like, no. They're still in litigation from Ford over the Taurus. <laughs> yeah. Taurus. If going to a movie show is right for you. If what you do is right for you. No matter what the others do. Then RC Cola is right for you. So Vanessa brings them cola. They're all laughing uh, gaily in the living room. <laughs> And Cole burps, and Burr. Vanessa. And they all laugh. Vanessa just looks so mad, and she says, "Pig, pig." Dark ending. Stupid so ending. So basically, Stupid ending. didn't even give him a chance to say excuse me. Mm -hmm. Stupid hey, ending. Dark ending. More like, more like jerk dick ending. Dick ending. These are dicks. All right, let's watch the episode. One last check. Make sure you're actually rolling. No, don't. God damn it. Yeah, bloopers <laughs> out there. God damn you gotta it. You got to shoot for the beer. It just, it tastes. It, <laughs> it tastes. It Can tastes, you taste it? It tastes so wet. When Crystal and Cole find that magic spell book in Vanessa's uh, house that is about turning humans to chickens. It's talking about all the prep work it's, it takes to do the spell, and then you have to say chicken, chicken. So that means Vanessa had this spell already prepped in case someone bumped into her at the grocery store. Moreover, that also means it's a complete coincidence that they hate chickens, and she had a spell to turn them into chickens. Wanna, she didn't know anything about their chickens. I wanna hit you for saying moreover. Ned, how do you rate the R.L. Stein magnum opus mm. chicken, chicken? There were some flaws, sure. Some flaws. Wow, yeah. There was a flaw or two. You're like the Nazi apologist. <laughs> wow. Easy, Hitler bro. had some great ideas, all right? <laughs> listen, listen. I am going to rate this a 2.34. And that's being very fucking generous, because this book sucked ass. Bob, what do you rate this book? Uh, Chicken Chicken is kind of a landmark for me. This was the last Goosebumps book I ever... Jerked off to. <laughs> no, not jerked off to. Jerked off into. Okay. This is my last Goosebumps book, and I quit, and I went into Animorphs and Redwall. And that's when we knew he liked wieners in and around his suck hole. I also give this book a one. This book was fucking garbage. Uh, it made me mad, 
in mad. Way, it made me mad in ways I've never been mad before. I hit my wife because of this book. Before we wrap up this book, we just want to say thank you to Caitlin in Michigan for the generous donation. We will use it to have Bob waxed. Mm, we're going to need a lot, spend a lot more money than that. She Listen. did not donate that much, everybody. We still appreciate it, but it wasn't Bob waxing. Wow, you're calling out monies. Caitlin hard. Like, so here's no, I'm just saying. Caitlin could have given more money. If, if you want me waxed, it costs more than what she donated. If, if but they, we still if, appreciate it. If the I viewers donate enough, to like, can we record you getting waxed? Like, uh, yes. If we find out how style? much it costs to get me waxed, and they donate enough, we'll do it. Uh, here's the number below of how much it costs in the bo Wax Bob pledge drive that we are now running. Please go to your telephone now. We have two of those 20 calls in. We urgently need to get up to that uh, 20 mark and even beyond if we humanly can. Well, that's it for the abomination that is Goosebumps number 53, Chicken Chicken. Can I borrow your bat really quick? Thank wow. You. Join us next time for book number 54. Oh, did you not remember there was a bottle behind there and it hit me in the leg? Are you going to bitch or are you going to tell the viewers what the next book is? Do you know how bad I want to break this and stab you? <laughs> I'm shocked you didn't break it. I'd have to clean it up. That's why I didn't. <laughs> Goosebumps number 54, don't go to sleep. Rise and shine forever. Cluck, cluck, motherfucker. <laughs>